Go, going back to management theory at work in radio, which is going to be part of Dark Times uh, at the Bike Shed Theatre and Bar. I think that's the first two weeks of August. I, I'm I'm not at all sure what what that event is about. I'll, I'll try and find out more because it's it's coming up quite quite soon. From from what I can make out, a lot of theatre people in Exeter are, are getting ready to go to Edinburgh. And I think it's more they want to go to Edinburgh than that they really don't think there's an audience in in in, in Exeter in August. Um, I might be wrong, but I think there must be people on holiday in in Exeter maybe who would like some sort of uh, performance, entertainment, whatever. But anyway, uh, apparently in the theatre August is is dark, so dark times are about to start, and the space was on offer to to Phonic or and. Um, so I thought, well, why not? Why not do this uh, management uh, theory uh, day? Because I've been working on that as social media for oh, two or three years now, I think, and it never seems to happen as a real event. Maybe that's just where conferences are going. Everything's moving online, or maybe the the other thing I I I think is also true, or just as likely is that there's a, a, a bit of a gap between academic discussion and practitioner discussion. Well, I'm already using a, a technical term for normal life. But I, I, I think somehow um, there's, something, there's something different going on anyway. The, the, the first two conferences were uh, over 10 years ago in Lancaster, Management Theory at Work, and I would say the first one was, was about learning companies, or mostly about that. And then the second one was more about leadership. So those, those two topics, I mean, you might say they've, been, they've already been done, but, um, and that's why mm, there's not a lot of conferences about them. But I actually think the, the learning company ideas, uh, people gave up too early, maybe, on it. And, and when you look at the, the bookshops, just general purpose bookshops in the high street, um, those those ideas are, are still still going. And P Peter Senge, the American end of it, that's still there and has been, I think, fairly fairly consistently for quite a long time. What happened with the the first one? Um, jo John Burgoyne did the opening keynote, and he's done some interviews for me with with YouTube because uh, it was talking to him that I I I, I got into doing social media as if there would be a third one. And I thought there would be a, a sort of closing session looking at the, the, the questions he'd raised, which seemed to me to be, what effect does the technology have? Because the internet was, well, actually, it was just after the first cyber crash. Um, and so those ideas were, were quite well known, but uh, the internet, as applied to learning companies, wh how, what what potential does that have? I think that was that was the sort of opening question. But towards the end of the first management theory at work, there was a, a, a talk about relevance from Chris Gar Chris Gray, and I I think more or less what he was was saying from a, a critique point of view, that the role of universities is not really to make a consultancy pitches or suggest what ought to be done but really just to um, make make a social comment from from a, a distance um, I think I think that's that's what he was saying it seemed to go down very well with the academics there the 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 managers were a bit bit puzzled by it and um, that may be another reason why the, there aren't a lot of such conferences but um, what I th what I think is has got to happen as it goes goes forward a bit, assuming it does, is to, is to go back to that and either accept it or try and find. Um, a, a, am I saying a way around it? Not not really a way around it. Just a way of of looking at practice while keeping a critique uh, point of view as part of the discussion. I think I think that's that's the mo that's the best way I can can put it, and. So I've, I've been talking to the storyteller about this, and he, he recognises this as a as quite a frequent situation in um, uh, academic terms, or because he's 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 on the fringes of of uh, universities. He was 
he is the stand-up philosopher as well as a, a storyteller, and uh, he was invited to to give a paper. I think that was during last last year. I think it was in Leeds, and it, it was he did write it all down. It was it was a proper paper as well as a presentation, if I can use that term. And um, so he says, okay, well we, we can make this into a drama. So. What will happen with the management theory at work in the Bike Shed Theatre is that the the concluding part will be a a sort of um, a pre, uh, well, what would you call it? The stand-up philosopher, you you can heckle him, but people tend not to. It is a drama because he may have several voices, and um, so he will he will address the issues of whether the conference should have happened in the first place, which is really the question I think around around relevance and what universities and business schools should should be doing so i don't know what is what is going i'm not well he doesn't actually conclude very much he's is is not a classical drama in the sense of resolving things especially but uh anyway look you you as i say you can heckle the the the, the actual drama will finish at about nine o'clock the bar will still be open i think there may be a pie fight in the bar but um whatever he sort of presents by way of um, what what management theory should be or whether there's any point in talking about where radio's going or if anything can be done about it, so forth. Well, should we be having that discussion? Uh, is, there, is there any form of radio that we would approve of? Um, by the way, the, a, a lot of the critique turns up as hardback books in very short runs, uh, rather expensive produced two or three years after the conference event um, in language not everybody can follow but anyway I think I'm I think I'm um, I think I'm rambling on far too much here I